Have you ever wondered how scientists and medical professionals are able to preserve organic tissues for long periods of time? Whether it's a cadaver used for anatomy studies, a biological specimen in a museum, or even small tissue samples in a laboratory, the secret behind their preservation lies in a powerful chemical, formaldehyde. But what exactly makes formaldehyde such an effective preservative? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the science of formaldehyde preservation, exploring its chemistry, mechanisms, applications, and even the potential risks associated with its use, right here on History of Simple Things. Formaldehyde is a colorless, strong-smelling gas that dissolves easily in water to form formalin, which is commonly used in preservation. It is one of the most widely used chemical preservatives due to its ability to prevent decomposition. Formaldehyde is an organic compound consisting of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It is highly reactive and interacts with biological molecules in a way that halts natural decay processes. When dissolved in water at concentrations, it forms formalin, the liquid solution commonly used for preserving biological specimens. Formaldehyde is not just a synthetic chemical used in labs. It is naturally produced in small amounts by living organisms, including humans, as a byproduct of metabolism. However, at high concentrations, it becomes a potent fixative, which is why it is used in preserving tissues, embalming cadavers, and even in industrial applications such as the production of resins and disinfectants. The preservation process relies on cross-linking, a chemical reaction in which formaldehyde bonds with proteins and other biological molecules, essentially locking them into place. This process prevents bacterial growth, halts enzymatic breakdown, and maintains the structural integrity of tissues. Formaldehyde reacts primarily with proteins, which are essential structural and functional molecules in cells. One of the key reactions is with amino groups found in proteins. Formaldehyde forms methylene bridges, which are chemical cross-links that stabilize the protein structure. This prevents proteins from breaking down due to enzymatic activity and microbial action. This fixation process is especially useful in preserving cellular and tissue architecture. In histology and pathology, where tissues are examined under a microscope, formaldehyde helps maintain the shape and integrity of cells, ensuring that their structures remain intact for analysis. Besides proteins, formaldehyde also interacts with nucleic acids, including DNA and RNA. By forming crosslinks with these molecules, formaldehyde prevents the breakdown of genetic material, making it an essential component in forensic science and molecular biology research. Preserved tissues retain their genetic material for extended periods, allowing scientists to analyze DNA even after years of storage. However, Formaldehyde can also cause some damage to nucleic acids, making it less ideal for preserving genetic material when compared to other preservation techniques such as freezing or ethanol-based fixation. One of the primary reasons tissues decay after death is the rapid growth of bacteria and fungi. These microorganisms break down organic material through enzymatic processes, leading to decomposition. Formaldehyde acts as a potent antimicrobial agent, effectively killing bacteria, fungi, and viruses by disrupting their proteins and genetic material. By eliminating microbial activity, formaldehyde prevents putrefaction, the natural breakdown of tissues caused by microbial metabolism. This is why cadavers embalmed with formaldehyde can remain intact for years, allowing medical students, forensic experts, and researchers to study human anatomy in detail. Autolysis is the process by which cells begin to self-digest after death 
due to the release of digestive enzymes from lysosomes. Formaldehyde inactivates these enzymes by altering their protein structures, effectively halting the autolytic process. This is particularly important in histopathology, where tissue samples are examined for disease diagnosis. Formaldehyde-based preservation has a wide range of applications across different fields, including medicine, research, and education. One of the most well-known uses of formaldehyde is in embalming, a process used to preserve human remains for funerals, anatomical studies, and long-term storage in medical institutions. Embalming fluid, which contains formaldehyde, is injected into the circulatory system to prevent decomposition. In histology, formaldehyde is used to fix tissue samples before they are embedded in paraffin and sliced into thin sections for microscopic examination. This is essential for diagnosing diseases, particularly in biopsy procedures, where small tissue samples are taken from patients to check for abnormalities such as cancer or infections. Pathologists rely on formaldehyde fixed tissues to study the microscopic details of cells and their organization. Biological museums and research institutions preserve a variety of specimens using formaldehyde. Animals, plants, and even human organs are stored in formalin-filled jars to maintain their appearance and prevent decay. This allows scientists, educators, and the public to study specimens for decades. One of the most famous examples of formaldehyde preservation is the Albert Einstein brain specimen, which has been preserved and studied to understand the neurological basis of intelligence. Many historical anatomical specimens have also been preserved using formalin, providing invaluable insights into the history of medicine. In forensic investigations, Preserved tissues and organs play a critical role in determining causes of death and analyzing evidence from crime scenes. Formaldehyde-fixed samples allow forensic pathologists to study wounds, toxins, and disease conditions even after significant time has passed. Formaldehyde has greatly advanced biological preservation, enabling the study of tissues long after death by cross-linking proteins, stopping microbial growth, and preventing autolysis. It's essential in fields like histology, forensic science, and anatomy. However, due to its potential health risks, it must be handled with care and proper safety precautions. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.